Mr. Black Magic! What's up? It's fucking Christmas time. It is Christmas time! It is Christmas time, and it is like TV time, and we don't... What? What is this? And and we don't have a, an emblem. Yeah, this was gold. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up there. Okay. Pow. Pow. And normal last normal game, of course. normal last normal game. Well, this week's gonna work... A bit this, differently. This is this is you know this is our last recording day before we go and actually have a vacation yep. for Christmas time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, or, you know, uh, uh, Festivus, Christmica for many other people out there. <sighs> uh for others, which has been going for quite some time, pretty much over at this point. Honestly, uh, to tell you, I can't even fucking remember when it when it starts and ends. It starts like way earlier and ends. I don't like, even know the dates. Um, I used to when I used to watch Lamb Chops play along. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't even know. Which is bad. I feel bad because Fa- I know Fatim doesn't watch any of our videos, so it doesn't matter. But if he ever did, then he's gonna fucking like smack me because he's Jewish and uh, yeah. You know. but I have no idea like what they even celebrate or what it's all about. Oh, they celebrate. Well, there's like the menorah thing, you know, like the 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 twelve candles. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. Of course, like that whole thing. Yeah, and yeah. They're, they're celebrating the the you know the miracle where like there was. The long story short, mm-hmm. they had oil enough for like one night or some shit. Okay. In their in in their, I'll call it a church for just for layman's terms kind of deal. Okay. And uh, the oil ended up lasting twelve. Guess how many days? Twelve. Fucking, you are so good. Oh man, so good. That's Basically, a, that's a mir- kind of, so it's a miracle. It's a miracle thing. It's a miracle yeah. thing. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, it's the same. Everything's it's the a same miracle idea. In, in it's religion. a fucking miracle. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, it's a miracle. Great. You know what else is a miracle? What? That we're gonna actually have some time to see our family in the next couple of days. Yeah. Um. I. I. I made it a note, and, and Adam as well. Adam goes and visits his family from somewhere, a little bit further away from this area. Yes. Um. <laughs> and, you know, I was like, well, we can get together once. And then kind of sneak in at some point whenever you get back. And if I'm not busy, uh, and do this. And then we said, you know what? Let's just Yellow pass swag. a whole bunch of games today. You're yep. just going to get... There, there's probably not going to be any, like, uh, you know, normal... Uh, well, we got know, Winchies Fails and, and stuff. And stuff. But yeah, yeah, it's just going to be games. It's going to be a bunch of casts. Bam, 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 and uh, some new Hearthstone type material. Yep. And we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it and have some fun, and then uh, we're gonna get together again at the beginning of the new year. Yeah, it's just that easy. It's that easy, and, and hopefully you guys are, are gonna have a, a good New Year's yourselves. All those spending time with the family and sipping on an eggnog and mm. opening up them presents. Do you drink eggnog? I do. It's the only time it is a of the milk-based year I do. product. I have very little. Okay. I have about maybe a glass every three days. Okay, because otherwise that would end poorly for you. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, Kayla, I was so mad the other day because I get, I get this low-fat eggnog uh, just because I like the taste of it. I don't like the taste of, like, full-fat, full, full fat blown eggnog. Um, okay. I don't know what it is. It's well, like it's rich maybe too hell. rich. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly. I think it's a little bit too rich. So I, I get low-fat, and Kayla is, you know, this... Uh, Always reading the back of labels and oh, of it, it, you know it's what, so one what of those. was in your low fat that she didn't like? No, no, no. I I, I don't know, but anyway, that because she never had eggnog before. This is like a first time having eggnog. I said oh, this is the reason why I bought it. So I was like, all right, well, I'll get some eggnog. And she's like, well, get some low fat eggnog. I'm like, all right, I'll get some low fat <laughs> eggnog, which is fine because I enjoy the taste of low fat eggnog. It's convenient for you. Yeah, her. so I got the low fat eggnog. She ended up liking it, so. It went fair, fairly quickly yes. because she was having like a glass a day, just pounding that, pounding egg that back, and then um, and you don't get big cartons of eggnog. No, milk. they're fucking small, they're like the one liter. Yeah, little that's jugs. exactly what it is. Yeah. It's like it's like a liter of beep, you know, the yeah. old school beep. Um, so anyway, we ran out, and it was grocery time, and she gets her groceries at Walmart now. We've had this conversation before, of course, and she comes home with a different type of. Uh, eggnog. It wasn't like, uh, I think it was, I got Farmers before. Yes. And she came home with like Baxter's or something. But not oh. only that, she got totally fat free eggnog because she wanted s- s- no fat. Not not reduced fat. Not reduced. No fat. Zero. You that's, ain't getting no fat. That's right? not, that's not, it's egg, not eggnog. That's not eggnog. You it's not what, motherfucking eggnog. You know, I was upset. You know what that is? It's no. water mixed with eggs. There you go. That's pretty much what and it no was fat terrible. eggnog is. So yeah. I had to then go to the grocery store and get some low fat eggnog. So did she drink the, the no fat? Yeah, she drank the no fat. Oh, that's and brave. now is drinking my low fat. That's brave. Yeah. 
Be I'm... Because I only can have like one glass every few days, and by the time I'm on my second glass, it's she's, gone now. She's it's, already it's, destroyed it's gone. it. It's gone. It's gone. Maybe you should start buying the two liter. I should probably start the two buying liter, it. Uh, which is which is really scary because. <laughs> Eggnog is a really ridiculous... Uh, for those of you who don't know what eggnog is, because some of our European friends might not, because I know some of my European friends had no idea what the fuck eggnog was. And really? I had, to, I had to describe to them what eggnog is. Is Essentially, it's like a heavy milk with... You know, whipped in with yeah. like egg and... Which sounds disgusting, but it works, trust me. And it's spiced, and you usually put like grated nutmeg or cinnamon on top kind of thing depending on what you're going for some people put rum in theirs yep. other things like that it's but it's really thick yeah it's not like milkshake thick but it's it's thick. borderline it's it's, it's thicker than there. regular milk because it's so it's got so much yep. fat in it and it's got egg in it as well obviously yep and it's a it's a usually a holiday type drink oh, in the yeah. winter time it's one of those like super heavy i fucking wonder if there's people that buy that shit on your all bones. year round uh, you can get it, but I, like I don't even remember. I don't even again? know if you can get that in the grocery stores all year round. That's I a good motherfucking. I don't think you can. Question, yeah. And you might be able to, but it's incredibly hard to find most. Or of the it time. might be like in a specialty, like because I mean, let's be fair. Who's in the middle of fucking summer, forty degree weather outside? I could really go, go for some eggnog. I could right really now. go for a fucking eggnog right now. Uh, no, you know who could probably nobody. go for an eggnog right now? Both of these guys who we've not actually <laughs> introduced yet in this Whatever. game. It's gonna be one of those days. Uh, all right, so we just had some aggression here from from Renly, and uh, I don't know what was this four gate, three gates. Okay, it's it's three just, gate just becoming four now. Yeah, and he, he also got an expand behind this, so there's some really good pressure. Um, he used his mothership core a little bit uh, early on and, and hit a nice time warp. Got a lot of kills. Now the mothership core is back. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to kill the um, the stem before it was finished. He had a chance there earlier while you were talking, uh, but he opted to not kill it he had the opportunity just to get mm, rid of it mm. uh, which actually is gonna hurt him pretty bad stim is so good for terran and for obvious reasons but the thing is, is if you can cut it off or slow it down you get such a huge advantage uh early on that it becomes very very difficult for terran to move out they just can't do it because well can, can they, you, they're can so you, slow can you do me a favor right now jeff yeah go to the settings for me Okay. <laughs> go to the settings. Second. I have a bad feeling about this right now. Okay. Go to settings. Yeah. Go to broadcast settings. Okay. Okay, no, we are. Now just do me a favor and go down here. Okay. Once, while we watch these guys do nothing, right click on that. No, 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 on the folder there. Yeah. yeah. And go to E. Yeah. And then uh, double click on OBS. Uh huh. And just make sure that this is happening right now. It's, it's happening. happening. Okay. okay. We're good. I just didn't. Because I know I was messing around with stuff a while ago because um, Twitch has made more changes to what's successful. Ooh, oh, stems down is, there. Oh, that dear. was a beautiful stem. And that's, and that's why it's so important to get rid of that when you have the chance. Because they're just, if you're not looking for a second, that's all it takes is one second for them to get in the position. Lost a lot of sentries there and the mothership core. Um, and things are starting to look a little uh, a little sour here for, for, um, for Renly. I know that he's on two base, right? He is on two base. Yep. He's got the economy and such, but he, he doesn't have any count. tech. Mm. He has he has no tier three tech, which can be a huge problem uh, for him later on. So, yeah, he still is in the lead. Yeah, he has an advantage, but judging by his play style here, uh, he may find himself uh, with a, a one push loss uh, yeah. if the Terran decides to just go. And it looks like he's not building a command center or anything. If he does one big push, he gets out a couple of medevacs and, and makes his way up there with no Colossus tech or high temps. Uh, he, what is he going to use to stop a, a bio ball? Well, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, he's just got up his saturation on both at this point. He's, he's pretty much got her now, but he's... Like I said, he's just getting his robo now. That was my next thing I was going to say, is that, you know, you get two base and you've had it for that long, you should probably have your robo, especially if you're only four gate on two base. Mm -hmm. You should probably have your robo to actually start producing uh, some more powerful units, some things to deal with these marauders, you for have instance. To. Yep. Uh, otherwise, it's just you see what happens. He comes down the ramp, he lights you up like a Christmas tree, yep. and then he walks away. And then he goes back up his ramp, ramp where he has widow mines, and he says, troll all, yep. come get me, yep. and you can't. And now he's going to push out, and this is actually an incredibly scary army. This is a scary army. The only thing that uh, Protoss got going for him right now is the fact that he's going to have one overcharge, but overcharge is only going to last so long. 
Uh, Mata, though, a little bit late on getting the medevacs. I would have loved to have seen two or three of them at this point. Yeah. Really only has one, but he's got brought some SCVs for a meat shield, and he's going to stim in here. These stalkers are going to get melted quickly. He needs to get off that overcharge, and he does. Now he can do one of two things. He can just go right after the Nexus, or he can go right up into the main. It looks like he's going to decide to just tear apart that Nexus, and this is exactly what I was talking about, Adam. No Tier 3 units. Stalkers really don't do anything against Marauders. He still has a full... Uh, uh, a medevac with full energy, or not energy, with full health. Um, he's got, okay, well, he pulled a bunch of probes, and he is going to clean this up, but there's still two uh, Widow Mines there, and that Nexus is gone, yep. and there's reinforcements. Yeah, uh, and that was even still kind of misplayed by Mata, in that he could have killed pretty much everything with just the units he had. Yeah. There's the two Widow Mines, clean that up. Uh, and now, Renly is, is pretty much uh, up shit's crick without a paddle. He's just lost his major source of income. He has a third going on right now, but it's not going to be able to produce much no. for a short period of time. He's got two Robos now, which... Don't need him. Don't need that many. Yep. Uh, and he's... Uh, uh, well, he's just in some shit. There's nothing much else to say about that, really. He's, uh, he's really got to focus now on maybe oh. collecting minerals. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good start. Yeah. Step one to being a victorious in a game of StarCraft is to actually make use of your probes to collect yeah, minerals. This is already game over. Um, I know that it really looked like our, our Protoss player here was in a huge lead, but the, you need Tier 3 or AoE of some sort uh, against Terran. It has to happen. If you don't have it, you're not going to win the game unless you, you literally have crippled his army so badly that you can just overrun with just Zealot, Sentry, Stalker. And you have godlike uh, force fields. That's that's the only way. And, and let's face it, this is Gold League. And chances are somebody with a, a, a bigger unit composition is just going to A-move and kill you. Uh, you're, not, you're really not going to have the skills uh, to, to hit perfect force fields and, and really capitalize on... You know, positioning. The, uh, the positioning, that's the word I was looking for, uh, the positioning of, of what Protoss can do. You know, it, it's even very hard for, for myself on ladder to hit things so perfectly when you're behind in, in units like this. It's just not going to happen. No, the reinforcements are going to be too much here. This is going to be just a kind of, it looks like it's just going to be a slow pick apart here for the Terran. Just keep working away at her. Renly's probably going to GG out of this pretty soon. Yep. Uh, he won't have there, it there it is. There's the GG. It was a good game. I really like the fact that, that Renly, I know we were talking there earlier about Eggnog, but uh, I like the fact that he, he played aggressive. He was in a great position. Didn't pick off the stim. Kind of overextended a little bit as well. Um, and then kind of... I would say his only really major mistake was not getting Robo sooner because he probably yeah. would have won the game yeah, with a couple and, of Immortals. And you know, the fun, funny thing is... is he almost didn't even need the robo. No. He already he had the he had the Twilight Council down. He could have just got charged in high temps. Yep. It would have been perfect. Because this push was an all-in. It was an yeah. all-in. No, he brought yes, he, he brought a bunch everything. of SCVs. Sure, he didn't bring them all, but he has no command center behind this, right? He's got three racks, a starport, and a uh, and a factory. This is it. What what this guy would have had to have done is lift this orbital and bring it here. Like yep. that that was it. So all he needed, literally, was charge in high temps. Didn't even really even need the charge. Just get a couple high temps, and he would have held this beautifully. Hell, he almost hold this, held this with probes. With, with probes, yeah, I know. So one or two high temps with just one good storm. There's only one medevac. Uh, he would have held, and then that would have been it. But unfortunately, like we like we alluded to earlier, uh, no tech. Yeah. That was it, and, and no gates. And that even even like even what you said earlier, he, if he got more gates, even if he sat on six, seven, eight gates on was, the two base, yeah, he, was, he probably still could have helped. He was two two uh, two base, four gates. Ended up getting the two robos. They're just a little late. Only yep. needed the one robo, maybe a couple extra gates. But like we said, excluding you know those minor errors, which are really just you know macro decision level errors. Mm -hmm. Everything else about Renly, pretty good. Did a good job. Yep. Mata, actually, also, I can't hate, he saw an opportunity. He took it. He saw several opportunities, actually, here at his ramp. And uh, and did a really great hold here at the ramp, to be honest. That was a nice hold. He went down when he needed to. He didn't overstim, which is like one of the biggest things we see here. Yep. Uh, and he took advantage when he And he, he, knew when he, into, he knew in a counter. Yeah. And the fact that he brought those SCVs really, really helped him. So that was... Just uh, solid playing for gold level. It was just a decent game in general. Excellent. Well done, good, gentlemen. Good start to our day. Good start. Hopefully that uh, that continues. On to the next one.